Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, welcome to my first video of 2017. I hope you had a great Christmas and will have a good new year. So today's video is going to be based on these brushes right here. These are the iconic Evo brushes. This is a full set, so all six brushes here. And these I got for Christmas from my parents. So I thought in today's video I will try these out and see how they work. So I'm going to use... I won't use any other brushes to, for this look today, I'm just going to purely use these. Um, so I said you get six, they are very soft brushes, I got mine in the white and rose gold, so like I said very soft, much softer than the Artiste brush, because I think my first video of 2016 was me testing out the Artiste 07, Oval 07 brush, and I can tell you straight away these are much softer, um, slightly less dense, um, the only thing is they don't have numbers on them so um, I'm kind of guessing that they go from 01, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that's how I'm doing it um, and you get them in this little box thing here I probably won't keep it in this I'll probably put it into a brush holder and then on the box it gives you the number brush so you get um, Eva 01 and it says you can use it for foundation, setting powder or moisturiser so I'm going to kind of use the brushes um, with how they kind of tell me to use them on the box and see how it goes. So this makeup look probably won't be anything exciting, it's just more about me testing out these brushes. So let's get started. So for primer today I'm using my This Works In Transit Camera Close Up Primer. So this is the Mask Moisturising Primer in one. I'm just going to put dots everywhere that and then it says to use the 002 brush to blend in primer and like I said it is much softer than the Artiste brush I think these are definitely I mean these are quite expensive brushes still but they're definitely cheaper than the Artiste brushes so okay so that's the primer blended in for foundations today I'm going in my Born This Way number two face Born This Way foundation, I have mine in porcelain, this is actually a new bottle that I also got for Christmas because I was running out of mine, so I'm just going to do one pump and then dot this on my face, and then to blend this out I'm using the 001, so this is the big, the bigger of the brushes, and if this is anything like the Artiste brush this will blend out super quickly, I'm trying to get foundation on my hair, that would be a good idea. Yeah, so that is the foundation all blended out really quickly which is what I love about these kind of brushes they just especially if you haven't got much time they're just great just to blend in the foundation okay so moving on to concealer I'm using the Born Sway concealer I have mine in very fair just gonna pop a little bit here here on my chin obviously and to blend this out I'm using the 004 brush so you all seem to really enjoy my latest videos the um, Christmas makeup look with outfits and the New Year's Eve um, makeup looks with outfits so I'm planning on doing a few more of those throughout the year and so I've got some really cool video ideas planned as well so that'll be exciting so that's the concealer buffed in again very quickly and it doesn't uh, especially for under the eyes this isn't dragging at all so it's not rough under the eyes which is great so won't uh, prevent premature wrinkling and stuff like that so that's, I like that a lot I'm going to go in with some powder now um, just to set the areas I do with concealer I don't really tend to set the entire face so to do that I'm using the Gosh Mineral Powder. Now it says for setting your face if you're using if you're using loose powder to use the O2 for setting powder the O1. I'm going to go in with the O2 as that's for loose powder. Um, and also as I'm only setting the concealer areas, the O1 is probably just a bit too big. I mean the O2 is probably a bit too big for under my eyes, but hey. 
set those areas. I will leave the link and the price to these brushes down below in case you're interested. They do loads of different sets. They do um, there's a set of four which I think is like a face set and stuff like that. So you don't have to get the whole set if you don't want to. Well, you don't have to get any at all if you don't want to. But I like iconic brushes. They're really nice. Okay, now moving on to the brows. I'm going to use my Freedom Pomade eyebrow stuff in dark brown. And for this it says to use the 05s. So this is more of a linear shaped brush so it's a lot thinner so that so it should be hopefully good for doing brows I can't imagine you can do a really precise brow with this because it's just I don't know a bit too thick but we'll see how this goes lightly brushes through the brows It's actually not too bad. Like I said, if you want a more of a, if you like your sharp, precise brow, maybe this won't work. But actually, more of a natural brow, this works really well. And again, it's made doing the brow a lot quicker. So more like if you're in a rush for work, you're not too bothered about having um, kind of a slightly messier brow. This is great actually. I like this. So that's the brows done and I really actually surprisingly like that brush for it. Like I said, it gives it much more of a natural brow. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I'm going to, it suggests this 06 for eyeshadows and blending and stuff like that. I think it would be quite good for going in the crease as well. So I'm going to use this brush for eyeshadows. I'm going to start off with the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Bill. A very neutral brown, I've kind of hit pan a little bit in the middle, you can see that, because I really like this one, it's a great kind of all over lid colour, let's use that brush, and go all over the lid, done. These brushes do make everything so much quicker. I'm then going to take the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Mittens, which is a dark brown like this, and focus this on the outer corner and take it slightly into the crease. This brush actually fits really nicely into the crease. It's kind of the right shape for it. I'm just going to take the same colour and drag it along the little lash line. Then I'm going to go with this Lily Lolo Mineral Eyeshadow in Witchy Poo, which is just a black loose shadow. I'm going to run this along the upper lash line, run this along the upper lash line to create like a smoky top lid. I'm actually going to go back to the brushes for the um, eyebrows. I did initially clean it afterwards with the B Makeup Brush Cleanser. I haven't read the instructions yet on how to clean the brushes, so I don't know how to clean uh, properly. I don't know the best way to clean them, but just for if I'm using the same brush twice for different things, I just go in with that, do a bit of spot cleaning. So take that and just run it along the upper lash line. Just like that, and then it just gives a bit of definition. So whatever's left on this brush, I'm then going to run it along the lower lash line, just on the outer third, like that, and then go back in with the 06 just to make sure everything is blended together. Quickly going to go with some mascara. I'm using the Kiko Maximal Mascara, which is my current favourite mascara. Let's give my upper and lower lashes a couple of coats. 
Okay, now I'm going to do some contouring. There's two brushes you can use for contouring. So you've got the O3 for like the medium contouring. So this is more for with face contouring. Then you've got the O4, which is very good. It kind of fits down the nose area. So I'm going to do a little bit of contouring for this video. I'm going to use my Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Duo kit to do this. Starting with the O3, I'm going to do the face first. This fits really nicely into kind of the hollow so it blends it out lovely as well as you can see now I've gone for quite a diffused um, contour today just so I don't fancy anything heavy but I could imagine you could do something a bit sharper more defined if you wanted to with these section here and this section here See, I'm going to do a little bit of nose contouring, so taking the O4, dab a little bit in there, and just make sure you bring it right up to the brow. So that makes it a lot easier with this brush, I think. I feel like I've got more of a steady hand with it so you can be able to get more of a straight line and then you can diffuse it and blend it out and diffuse it as well. For bronzer says you can also use the 003 but this seems quite small for bronzer. Like an all over bronzy glow so I'm actually going to go with the O2 instead so slightly bigger um, using my Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Gone Days it's really beautiful it has like a sheen to it it's no shimmer it's just a sheen and I'm just going to bronze up kind of the entire face Like so. Then I'm going to go some blusher using the Evo 03. Taking a bit of this silly Lolo Coralie Sticky Cheek Duo Kit. I'm taking a little bit and just kind of popping it on the apples and bringing it out a little bit. Now, because these do use up all the product, you definitely want to go in much lighter blusher, I feel like. I have to say, it's not the easiest to try and do blush with this, I don't know why, it's just a slightly odd angle. Okay, I'm then going to go with highlighter using the O2 brush, and I'm going to just go in with the highlighter from the Lily Lolo Coralista Cheek Duo, taking that, and just... Now the thing is with this, it says to use this for highlighter, it's not going to give you a really defined highlighter, but I think what it will do, because it's a bit too big, I think, for highlighter, but what it will do... Hopefully, yeah. It's going to give a slightly more natural glow to the skin. So it's going to help blend, as you can see, it's blending everything together. So the bronzer, the highlighter, and the blusher to give more of like your skin's naturally glowing, if that makes sense. Nice dewy finish as opposed to a, a super intense highlighter, which personally. On a day-to-day -day basis, that's what I prefer. Slightly more of a natural glow to the skin. I'm just going to bring a little bit around here because I like, quite like it around here. Take it down the bridge of my nose as always. And then keep it away. So the final thing for me to do is lips. And it says to use the 05. So I'm going to have to give it another clean again. Actually, what I do with this product is I squirt it onto a cotton pad. And then... Just go in and rub it. So this is great for if you want to just do a bit of spot cleaning in between uses because it won't soak the brush, you can just use it again. Okay, so for lips I'm going with the Gosh Velvet Touch Lipstick. This is the shade Cinnamon, so 013, which looks like that. So kind of like a nudie, a dark nudie brown colour. It's a slight hint of peach in it as well, I think. Um, so I'm literally going to... So I guess I'm just going to run like the brush along the lipstick like that. 
and apply. If that, like the colour payoff's not that great, using this brush. So like I say, it's not the most easiest brush to get the most defined lips, and it doesn't give the full colour payoff. Like if I, it is quite a dark lipstick, and it doesn't really translate onto lips using this brush. Probably wouldn't continue using that for lips. Love it for brows. It's definitely my new kind of on the go quick brow brush to use um, but for lips mm, I'd rather just go in with the lipstick I think so this is the makeup look complete using all of those brushes and I'm very happy with how it turned out actually um, makeup looks turned out really well using these brushes I really enjoyed using them it definitely made things a lot quicker like foundation it went on so much quicker and blend out quickly brows were so much quicker to do obviously if you want a more precise to find Instagram type brow this won't work um, but I think for an everyday quick product, quick brow, this brush is perfect. Um, what other ones I loved? I'd probably say my least favourite was the 06. Um, I mean, it did blend out everything nicely um, and stuff. I just don't know. It's just a slightly weird angle to try and use it on the eyes. Um, and like, you're about to get the most amazing eye look. If you want something a bit more creative, a bit more of a detailed eye look, this won't be the brush for you. But, like I said, for an everyday makeup look, super quick, um, these brushes are perfect. So like I said, I'll leave the link and everything down below for you. You can get different colours. I know you can get um, black and gold as well as this colour. And like I said, they do, I don't know if they do them individually, but I know they do like smaller sets and things like that if you wanted to try them out. So yes, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you, if you've tried the brushes, what you think. Yep, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.